What's going on guys, I'm Saburai and I'm back here to bring you another video today. In this video, I am doing a little war recap of Solus King's 100th win. Um, Solus King's against ROC, uh, another level 2 clan, and we took him down 75 to 64. Um, you can see our war stats here, I, I managed to pull off most heroic attack. Um, we used 56, they used 54, and you can just see all the other stats here. Um, in the end, it came down to we had a lot more 3 stars than they did. We had 17 3 stars, they had 11. They did have more 2 stars, but 3 stars are what win wars, and we had more of those. Um, we had more new stars per attack, and a higher average destruction, and about the same average attack duration, but we didn't have most heroic defense. But I'll talk about defending later in the video, because there's a really funny um, set of defenses that we had. Um, and I'll talk about that later. But here's the most heroic attack by me. Um, a go we wipe on their number one base. Uh, I had a three P.E.K.K.A.s, four witches, a handful of wizards, two golems, um, and a, f a handful of wall breakers as well, with a clan castle full of wizards, and then my heroes. So, coming in from the um, uh, northeast corner, and we've got the jump spell. I dropped the rage and the jump spell in approximately the same place. Dropped two freeze on these infernos just to keep my wizards and witches alive a little longer. Hopefully, I can take out the clink house with that. And um, we've got in. We're inside the core now. We're getting the pekkas inside the core, which is the big thing for this attack. When you're going against multi infernos, you can't go straight up go wee wee, which that's my favorite attack strategy. But doesn't really work against multi inferno so I need higher level freeze before I try that. But anyway, so we've got the town hall, and I want you to watch these golems right here because when these golems die, it's important. Because when the golem dies, it does damage to that hero altar. And when the queen uses her ability, she calls in some archers, which are able to take out that hero altar, and that's crucial to the rest of the attack. Because as you can see now, we have 45% and a one star. So we've got the town hall, but we don't have the 50%. And I always bring a few archers just for insurance, so I can pick off a few buildings at the end, hopefully pull off an extra star. And this manages to clutch this attack for me because I called in an archer over there on the Dark Elixir drill, and that pulls out another percentage. 47% now, and we got an archer on the gold storage and an archer on the uh, barrack on the left side. And um, so we take out the barrack, and we call in another archer on the gold storage just to help her out. And 50% with those archers on the corners, so, so clutch. Those archers are my favorite people ever um, managed to get that two star for me um, another night awesome attack I wanted to show you was by one of our co-leaders Tassison um, his he attacked up on this one he was number nine attacking number seven this is a decent base layout it's a little spread out and um he took advantage of that with a lot of wizards and a one witch. When you have spread out bases, you want a lot of burst fire, um, which is wizards, and if you have witches, those help too for spread out bases too. And he has a few P.E.K.K.A.s just to add a lot more of, a lot more DPS to his kill squad um, running through the base. So you can see, he's got his, um, he hasn't called in his second golem yet. Uh, here it comes though. And he's got a bunch of wizards inside the base. And those are helping you to take out a few buildings just so he can make a path for the P.E.K.K.A.s. Um, it doesn't work entirely. He has a P.E.K.K.A. on the outside, but he does have one P.E.K.K.A. in going to the core now. And uh, he's got his heroes, his king and his queen, both level 10, and a handful of wizards heading towards the center. And um, so they're going to look like they're going to go into the center and take out a few buildings. And here comes the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to be clutch here because it's going to help take out the town hall along with the wizard. And... Um, yeah, so it looks like he's doing pretty good right here. I mean, you guys already know it's a three-star you saw in the war map, but I like to like to commentate the attacks as if they are going live. Um, but So he uses the king's ability to take out that wizard tower and just keep him alive a little longer. Queen is still at full health and has her ability. And um, at this point, it's almost pretty much clean up now because he's got those buildings on the outside. Again, a very spread-out base, which is why he brought a lot of wizards, I think. Good for this base. Um... And, um, yeah, so it's pretty much cleaned up all at this point. He's just got those few few defenses left. The Archer Queen clutches it. it barely has any help left. Clutches that. Without the Archer Queen, I don't think this would have been a three-star. Um, for once, the Archer Queen does something smart instead of shooting walls. Um, but anyway, so it's a three-star. Nice attack by Tassison. Very, very cool. Um, and, um, yeah, so another attack I wanted to show you is here in a second by MS re 12 on their number, not 10, Corey attack number 10 and got three stars. We are we were trying to attack lower bases for three stars because um, 
Um, we had already starred most of the higher bases. I'm trying to get some stars and lower bases. So here comes M. And this a base layout is a weird one. I would, if I was attacking this base, I'm not really sure what I would do. I mean, you can see what he does. He calls in the Haga to get the clean house out. Then he calls up his wizards up here. And he has the wizards clear a path, clear some of the junk buildings. That's what wizards are really good for, clearing junk buildings up. So he can call in the golems. Here comes my golem out of the clan castle. And a bunch of wizards behind. And uh, in a second, he's going to call in the pekkas. And uh, he has the heal spell right there to keep the golems alive a little longer. The jump spell placed so he can get to the core a little easier. And uh, perfect... Uh, uh, clear, perfect pathing, funneling of the P.E.K.K.A.s. He uh, cleared the junk buildings to funnel the P.E.K.K.A.s into the center, so the P.E.K.K.A.s are all well-placed at this point, although one of them ran to the side, um, but <laughs> whatever. And uh, so, yeah, he's doing well, he's doing well. Um, the Clan Castle did come out, but he has just enough wizards to take that out without too much trouble. If you don't have wizards and witches, then the Clan Castle will completely destroy your P.E.K.K.A.s because they are too slow, just too slow to kill Clan Castle troops unless it's like a golem or something. Um, in which case, Pekka's would be pretty good at that. But he's got this kill squad down, hitting the town hall, and that's going to take it. He drops a rage spell just to make sure it goes down, and he's still got one, two Pekka's, well, one just died. So he's got one Pekka trying to make his way to the core, and it figures out there's a better way and runs through. Um, so yeah, he, and he he's mostly cleaned up at this point. He's got a few defenses left, but... Base is pretty much, I don't know, it's, well, you can see it's like 70% done. So he's just cleaning up. He's got his heroes. Heroes are doing great on this attack. Um, yeah, great attack here. And um, now I'm going to show you, <laughs> these have all been good attacks that I've shown you so far, but I'm going to show you all a good attack. It's still a good attack, but also a heartbreaker. Um, Oramus asked me to show this attack of his. Um, 99%, and that's always sad to see because it's like you did everything needed for a three-star, but just couldn't get that last building. And that's happened to me before, or I think it was a 97% a few wars ago. I didn't have my queen, and I go uh, used go in a tunnel nine. Got 97%. I mean, I w it wouldn't have been a three-star with my queen, but... So I'm fast-forwarding to the end of the raid so you can see the exciting part. I mean, most of this raid was expertly done, pretty much, except for just a little, uh, little bit of coming up short with the extra star. So you got Tesla going to be the bane of his existence here, because he has the queen here, and uh, the queen is attacking the Tesla, and that level 7 Tesla does great against heroes. So the Tesla goes down, but the queen goes down at the same time. So he just got this one barbarian left, and not much he can do. I mean, that barbarian is no way going to take out that Tesla, so 99% one star. And that always sucks to see, but I mean, still a good attack, two star. Um, helped us clinch that victory, but... Um, you can see, I wanted to show you some of our newer member, Liam Magoo. Uh, he had his base, he had this anti-dragon um, defense base, and it was hilarious because this base got 99%ed three times in a row. After that, it got like 60%ed, and then they attacked it six times and never got better than two stars. So the best score they had was 99%. The first three attacks were all 99%. So, and every single attack went pretty much like this one is going. He got the dragons, calls in a lightning spell on the bottom, and then he goes through the base and does very well. The base goes down pretty easily because, I mean, there's not much you can do to defend against dragons at this level, but he has figured out a way. So he has these Teslas, and they pop up at 51%, but by 51%, the dragons are already inside the base. So they have to come outside the base, hit the Tesla, run all the way across the map, hit the other Tesla, and then run all the way across the map, hit the last Tesla, and they just don't have enough time to do it. So <laughs> Liam trapped these guys three times in a row. It was hilarious to see them try to attack this base three times and then fail um, every single time. So that guy, he wasted like five of their attacks, and that definitely helped us clinch the victory because wasted attacks are, no, are less stars for them. So, yeah. Loved this war, and uh, we did very well. Um, so yeah, and that's pretty much it for the video, um, for the war video. That was our hundredth win, and we instantly went to another war. We're in a war right now um, that we should be doing pretty good in. But yeah, Souls Kings vs ROC, 75-64, final score. We uh, killed it. It was awesome. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Oh, I've got a builder for you. I gotta upgrade my. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my last army camp to max and then once those are done i'll have once that one's done i'll have 240 troops because i've got the other one upgrading on the bottom the other two are already finished 
And uh, besides those two camps, I've got three Tezels upgrading. I love the Max Tezels. I love the way they look, so I'm getting those. And, uh, yeah, so I'm trying to get... I'm just working my way through Town Hall 10 at this point. I know it's going to take a long time, but it's. Uh, I think I can get there. I mean, I've, I'm pretty... I played Clash for a long time, and I had this huge raid last night. I had a, I had a six hundred thousand gold, five hundred or almost six hundred thousand elixir, and uh, it was insane. So I had I had that raid last night, and that was like probably my biggest raid of Clash as a town all ten, um, because of the loot penalty. But anyway, I've got my wizards upgrading my lab. Four days left on them. Then I'm gonna go straight to free spells just to help out Goebi, and then after that. And I almost collected my loot here, but I decided not to. And I, after I finish Wizards and Free Spells, I think I'm going to go after Pekka's, because I want to improve my Go We Wipe strategy against Tunnel Tanks. And here's our current war against Iran and Khuzestan, another level 2 clan. Hoping we can take them down, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. 100th War win. Saburai, and I am out.